Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to do a review on the Surge Leatherman. Great tool. I'm going to show you the case I made. I'm not going to go to a lot of detail on that. My brother and I were working for years. I carried the Wave Leatherman, which is a good Leatherman's. Um, and I think mine was on top of the tractor tire. I was under the tractor something. I don't remember. And my brother borrowed me his Surge Leatherman soon after I bought a Surge Leatherman, and I'll show you why. All right, this Leatherman here is called the Sidekick. This is actually belongs to my son, uh, which he's pretty happy with it. Um, <laughs> came right out of his pocket there. Um, but uh, good little tool. It's got a spring load in it. Good tool, but it's, it's definitely for, I would say, for a city feller, or a, uh, maybe a lady, uh, you know, that doesn't use a tool a whole lot. Or a, a young man. A young man, great tool. Good tool. I think my son would probably give that a 10-star rating. This is my first Leatherman. <clears throat> this is the Super Tool. Good tool. Loved it when I had um, first got it. I bought this one, I think, in 99. A Wave Leatherman is super, I'm sorry, Wave uh, Leathermans are super good company to work with. If you break this tool, call them. They'll send you a brand new one. Um, really, really good to work with. Uh, this tool here, um, I cut my son's in biblical cord with it when, uh, when he was young. It's still razor sharp. but uh, Except for the tip a little bit, maybe not so much. But, but good tool, made in the United States. But again, does not compare. Also, it pinches your hands, kind of sharp edges on the edge. Not sharp, but when applying pressure, you can feel it. It's it simply just doesn't compare. Like I mentioned, I had the I had the uh, Wave Leatherman before the surge, and I gave that to a hired hand, and. Um, so therefore it's not in the review, but um, great tool. It was just a lot smaller, just about this tool, uh, probably that much smaller. So, um, and thinner as well. So this here is kind of the mammoth, the tough one. Quick review. Um, this case here, everyone asks me all the time, doesn't it fall out? No, it does not fall out. And it, it never has fallen out. Um, you know, Upside down for a long period of time, yes. Otherwise, absolutely not. It just it it just does not fall out. I've never had it fall out. Carry it every single day. You know, cows chasing you, cutting down fallen trees, uh, fencing, everyday use. Never has ever fallen out. What you do, find yourself a thick piece of a leather. <clears throat> um, I, I let it naturally just get dark I guess but um, you just put it in a sink of hot water and um, shape it around your Leatherman and uh, voila there it is I hand stitched that with with a um, oh, um, oh just a hand stitcher I guess um, someday I may do a review on those as well but anyways that's our brand two incisions for the belt they last for many, many years that way. <clears throat> this is the, the Surge Leatherman. Absolutely unbelievable knife. I would have two beefs with this knife, two, two complaints, uh, if any, but I'd still highly recommend this to any working man. First of all, a multi-purpose tool does not take the place of a plier, a good pocket knife, or a screwdriver or a scissor, but this thing will get you out of so many pinches that um, it, it actually pays to carry these, these these tools. That is razor sharp. That is one of my problems with the knife. I like case knives. I like more maker knives, which use a very easy to sharpen steel. <clears throat> a couple swipes and you got a razor. This one here, if you let that go dull at all, it will take forever to sharpen that knife. Stainless steel blade, 
The good thing about it is they last a long time, but uh, that one there, you almost have to take it after you're used to a good case knife or a more maker knife. Stainless steel is hard to use, but I use it all the time. Um, the scissor, compared to the like the wave, is phenomenal. Um, I'm six foot one. I have fairly good size hands. Um, that that blade is uh, very very good. Great locking system. Super sharp. I can cut leather with that. Um, the other day I was using it to make some gaskets out of uh, some cardboard. Um, just an excellent, very, very pleased with this. Um, the serrated blade, the only part I've ever sharpened on it, and I use this all the time, cutting twine, whatever, um, is the very tip part. And uh, that's that's easy to put a blade on. Serrated part, I've never had to sharpen. It's kept its edge fairly well. Um, I keep a file on here because I use a file quite a little. Um, mainly in church, you can kind of cheat and maybe do your uh, fingernails if you have to. Show the feminine feature, but uh, it also comes with with the Leatherman, um, the Surge Leatherman. It comes with a like a saw blade, which I don't ever use because I usually break them. But um, <clears throat> this is the the release mechanism. Okay, let's look at the, the tool a little closer here. Use this quite a bit, actually, um, for wire connections. Put it, uh, Making them connect, clicks together, works really well. Like I said earlier, multi-purpose tool will get you out of a pinch. Great for cutting wire, barbed wire, no. If you do that, what happens is it kind of, um, it makes them stick. And so then it's like, trying to pull it open a lot of times it'll do that to you but um, hey that's just because I you know I was using an S10 to pull a, a tractor trailer you know it doesn't that's not the purpose of the tool um, um, got a little arc going on there from uh, touching the starter off to the solenoid uh, whatever um, gr great tool I use it for this thing I use this thing for a hammer half the time I think but um, <clears throat> been a really good tool. My second beef would be with it, and remember I have almost, this is like a 99% happy with this tool, is the, there's a Phillips and a straight screwdriver that goes in here, and uh, you can just flip it in and out. They fall out. They seem to fall out for me. And like I said, I probably am using it for a hammer, and that's probably why it does that, but um, it's irritating, but whatever. Um, and then you have a, a bottle opener um, and a can opener that works really good as a can opener. Just, you know, keep a can of beans and fence and pickup or whatever, and uh, and you can rip into them. You don't have to use your teeth. Um, barbarian side, I guess. Um, I've owned this particular tool since 2013, so uh, before that, it was the the wave. It's got a good screwdriver on there, never given me any problem at all, whatsoever. This is kind of a sewing awl, I guess I've never used it for a sewing awl, but I have, you know, you broke, break a rein or something, punch a hole through your leather, um, put your reins back together, uh, saddle, cinch, whatever, you know, you have to take So it works good, kind of it's got a sharp edge on it. Also, um, driving down the road or whatever, your wife's glasses loosens up. This has a removable flat and fillip your glasses. Good tool. Um, overall, I would give this thing a um, I, I, I'm probably a hundred percent rating actually. It's got the rolled edges so you can squeeze on that thing as tight as you want to. It doesn't have any problems whatsoever. Um, good good all-around tool. Really really happy with it. Um, if I could change anything about it, I wouldn't. Um, Leatherman is, in my opinion, the way to go. Um, made in the United States, of course. Um, it's just been a great tool. A lot of people like Gerber's. Um, uh, there's other companies out there, too. In my opinion, uh, the Gerber, I've never actually liked the Gerber's. Um, not to mention that it sounds like baby food to me, but every time I've used them, they're clunky, they're big, they're not... 
are too small a lot of times I'm just not happy with the tool um, <clears throat> and I've had a lot of friends you know hey Luke you paid what a hundred bucks for that thing um, you know man I bought mine for like 15 or 20 I look you know they use it five ten times and uh, you know they're missing half their plier um, knife breaks off you know it, it, it flimsy you know at first it's a hundred bucks um, you can buy them on eBay cheaper sometimes Walmart has them runnings has them uh, a lot of places have them um, you will not have a problem you're gonna this thing will get you out of so many jams that uh, it's just gonna be an absolute awesome tool great tool absolutely it would be one of my essentials I absolutely love the tool um, that's the review on the Surge Leatherman. Hey, if you like these channels, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I've got a lot of other videos out there. More to come. Thank you very much.